day guys my name is Ashton you all all know me as AP Ashton today I'm going to show you all how to bake omni inclusion using the bake texture tag but also we're going to actually use the AO shader instead of the actual omni inclusion uh, render settings okay so first thing I want to show you all my boy work Austin he used blender and this is what people is asked about with Cinema 4D. Can Cinema 4D do this kind of baking inside Cinema 4D? I mean, this is what Cinema 4D users is asked for. Like, how can I do something like what I see inside 3 Max or inside Maya? Okay. So I'm gonna show you all how to pretty much do this. Okay. And this is what we call senior development work. You know, we, we, we just pretty much go with that little old school look to things and it's very low poly, but we have to make things look good. So this is a default nice hanger, like the storage unit uh, building here that he did inside Blender. And the bake really came out nicely, like how nice and dark at the bottom and it has come out right and then around the edge, I mean, the corners just look right. So let's do this inside Cinema 4D. So let's hop into it. And I'm also gonna show y'all like, you know, cause it, it's pretty much simple to do, but this time I find a more better solution to get it to look like this. All right, so let's go in cinema. <clears throat> All right, and this is just a nice little terminal that I did for an example. This is like my little uh, beta test of frame for when I injected inside the game. Okay, so if I hit render, you can see that the amp inclusion really comes out nicely, very nicely. And all it is is just a shader, really, from natural material. So let's hop into the actual project here. All right, so there you go. So this is a nice little scene here I did. And I have a nice little dance that I did a while back, okay? So I already used it, okay? Oh, uh, well. Can't really see it if I actually put on the theme one. So I'm just gonna turn off this one and cut this one on. And I'm gonna select it and then show it in here. So I already UV'd it and everything like that, okay? So once you already did that, I said, okay, I'm gonna duplicate it and then I turn it into one object just by using right click, connect and delete, of course. Okay. And once I did that, I just applied it, my actual army inclusion texture dirt, and everything went fine. So let's see how it actually looks. So let's gonna zoom out. No, hmm. see right there, and hit render. So you see that it really, really looks nice in the environment. It don't look too harsh in certain areas. It just everything just average, and that's what a lot of people was looking for. And I hope that I can really, really show them how to get this rendered out on a texture sheet so you can pretty much use it. So let's uh, get started. So first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make two materials, okay? And the slot I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna use the diffusion by just checking that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these two just to show you. Um, wait, I'm gonna open up one, keep one open, and I'm gonna select two of these right here. Okay. Now me doing this is uh, just showing you that how you can enable and disable what material you want. So for example, if I want to work on two materials with the same settings, I can do that. So if I uncheck the fusion and check it now. You can see that how those two just pop back up. That means the fusion is now activated, right? So if I want to disable reflectance, it did that just now. Uh, also, editor, I like to set this to the highest, like 2K, because usually that's if you apply any kind of resolution and the, to the object is 2K or something like that, it actually needs to project 2K so you you see the quality inside the viewport, okay? It, that that's what it is really so once you don't do that um, what you need to look into now is I'm gonna go to color for example I'm just gonna select one now this time I'm gonna turn it into a nice light uh, nice light blue so yeah it's good enough and I'm gonna change the other one to yellow okay 
yellow nice height tall yellow okay there you go so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna select and I'm gonna put the blue on on the previous uh, material I have here already and then I'm gonna go on polygon mode and select this one all right there you go so this is the thing now we got that all right but if we hit render right now do we have ambient collusion on it no we don't so right now if I select these two again I select these two you go to this fusion and you see where texture is all you need to do is click on this nice little looking play button here and you'll have a nice menu and you go to effects and then you go to IV inclusion now you see multiple values it will usually say I'm inclusion is just a single object selected or a single material selected so what you do you click on it and it will open up to the shader settings shader properties and this is the same look as render settings okay so if I went to effect and hit I'm inclusion they are the same settings okay so if I go back to view and also I need to disable I'm inclusion because we're not using that not using the render settings we're using the shader so the first thing is your ray length this depending on if you're in centimeters or meters okay and it really depends on how the object is and how small or how big okay too so you might be in centimeters you might have 100 and you have to turn that up depending on what is what okay uh, depression you can leave it to 100 accuracy 100 um, medium samples you can put that to 128 128 there you go and then turn your contrast to 1 this is my personal settings and what I usually always use okay um, use sky environment you can do that if you actually have an actual environment such as viewport and HDR you know how it is so if you're not dealing with that that's okay evaluate transparency that is a big thing uh, depending when you actually have transparency on top of your polygons like decals on top of your top of um, your building for example say example I wanted to put a sticker on the dumpster right here and I know that's a decal if I actually want to see that and look better and I actually want to bake whatever shadow that it or whatever I'm inclusion it could come from that actual plane it would actually project onto my actual object okay so you can check that okay and if you want to see I'm inclusion clear I mean not I'm inclusion your decals clear inside your viewport just go to options and enable transparency mine's already enabled okay but I'm not having that active right now so I have no transparency in my viewport all right so once you done do that that's it you can exit your material all right and now if I hit render you now gonna see this you can see now it actually has army inclusion and it looks so good it really does so now what I'm gonna look into next is I am going to bake it so I'm gonna delete my bake texture tag already after it and we're gonna add a new bake texture tag so one you can go to objects and hit bake texture okay or you can if you have our layout you can just go right here and say hey, bake texture right here or you can right click and go to cinema 40 tags bake texture and there you go so you go to attributes inside your attributes you will have your bake texture settings and you go to tag all right and it will be set right here as default and now to be honest there's nothing inside our file name so let's give our file name and call it mean underscore AO okay and just hit save well format I like to go with PNG it's up to you on that one uh, okay now width and height of course is 2k so it's 2048 I'm sorry that paste there you go and pixel water can be to four or three and sometimes I use continue UVs for certain things okay so, and that's pretty much it so let's go to options use polygon selection that depend on if you select this tag right here okay or if I in the live viewport it will do that specific thing okay now 
would you want to choose is you're not going to choose IB inclusion. You're not going to do that anymore because you're not using the actual Cinema 4D standard render settings from the IB inclusion from that part. You're now going to use your material. So we know we said inside this fusion, so you need to check that. And there you go. Once you check this fusion, all you need to do now is just hit fade. And if you want to see it in a bigger view, you can just hit open window. All right, so now it's rendering, and it's rendering very fast, very fast, and it's more easy and it's better. I can tell you that for sure. Now, the next thing is, if you had multiple objects, if you just had multiple objects inside your viewport um, or inside your list, and you say, man, I want to select all of them and just hit bake one time. Well, you can do that, but the only difference is you need to go back to type, and for each one of those bakes, you need to switch the name. So how I have mean AO, then you need to put mean AO underscore one for the next object, for the next polygon. So you got to keep doing that for the next guy who inside your list, okay? So once you do that, you're fine. So, of course, I still have my environment open up around it, but it still doesn't really matter. It's going to bake it how it should look, and that's what I really like about it. So let's see how this really come out. Okay, it's baking the wheel, it's it's doing its thing. <laughs> now usually if you use your render settings, your actual render settings, all this would have been black. I know y'all may not believe me, but if y'all test it out for yourselves and actually do the difference, use the actual render settings and test it out for yourself because you would see this completely black, which I might actually do. I'm gonna show you all the difference. Well, it still came out looking accurate and it looks really nice and complete. All right, so that's it. Now, how are we gonna apply that? Well, we're gonna go back to our materials and we're going to open up one and then select these two and then go to this fusion and then we're going to select it. There you go. And just hit open. Hit no. We already set our texture um, preview size to 2K already. So now we see it inside the viewport. There you go. It still did the specific object itself and still made it look nice, which is pretty awesome. Next to each other. This is the first one that we did earlier. This is a more clean. You can see the difference. You can see the bait difference from using the actual shader and actually using the actual render settings. It would not really fit the way we see in things right now on this one. It's just much more clean and it's much better. So now you have a more better understanding you can see where okay it's just a little bit too much I need it to look more average more even so this is much more of a better look the first one and for the actual army inclusion itself using the render settings it's a complete difference so yeah I prefer using the uh, shader army inclusion and um, I think y'all should do the same and to get it looking like this and also like I say it also goes for buildings I already applied that AO to this cube onto the floor and just see how it will look it just also don't forget um, the tools that y'all seeing here SES tools y'all could always check that out on our website the link will be in the description we um, have select and go and multiple uh, cool tools that and a lot of plugin scripts that can make your workflow much more easier and especially selecting go on nervo is our best tools out there so check it out give it a shot let us know let us know our feedback and don't forget to comment and subscribe guys so once again my name is ap ashton i hope that this helped you all out and uh give me some good feedback guys and once again have a good one be safe and have fun.